What's up guys, Nate Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back again um, with my third video after my hiatus. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to get straight in. So we've got a black and red LeBron box like here. So it's split in half with the opposite branding on the colour, so you've got the black with the red and vice versa. Um, something that's really cool is this part on the side where one way it says LeBron and then when you flip it upside down it says James. It's a very, very cool touch. Um, I like to see the box numbers right there. So I pull out the box as kind of been traditional with LeBron since at least the 8 that I can remember. Um, so this is a LeBron 11. Um, I won't tell you what colour it is, even though you can probably tell. Again, these, these also aren't DS. There is some wear and tear on these already. Um, I took these on a holiday with me recently. Um, so that's my receipt and everything from Nike.com. So what we have right here is a Nike LeBron 11. Um, it's LeBron's 11th signature shoe. Um, it's actually the lightest LeBron to date at the point where it was dropped, uh, coming in at 14 and a half ounces in a men's uh, size 9, a US 9. Um, kind of the, the biggest things with this sneaker is the trying to cut back on weight. Um, so what we do is we have this material, it's called Hyperposite. It's a polyurethane based material where it has mesh on top. Um, and it's basically a, a combination of foam posit and hyperfuse, um, and it basically gives you the strength and structure, um, but without the the weight that traditionally comes with a uh, foam posit material. Um, coupled with that, you do have engineered mesh or fuse on the upper, with your dynamic fly wire. The hits in that going to be in pink, um, and you do have an asymmetrical um, collar, so it gives you a better range of motion. As you can see, it does dip down on your lateral side with the higher medial, um, which was great. I found it very comfortable when wearing it. Um, another thing that, we, that was done was to cut down on weight. They um, give you a solid TPU shank plate, um, but by also having this section and cutting out some rubber, it's saving you on some weight as well. Um, obviously, anyone who follows the NBA will notice that this shoe, as cool and as awesome as it was, LeBron didn't wear it literally at all, a handful of games uh, last NBA season. No official word on why that was, um, but it was a shoe that I did enjoy playing in. Um, obviously I have a pair already, I have the, the Gumbo League or the um, All-Star colourway if you will. Um, so it was a very, very nice shoe uh, and when I heard that the South Beach was colourway was coming out, I had to get involved. Um, so much so I bought a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, which if you check my Instagram you'll see them on there. Um, but I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, it's a well executed, clean colourway. Uh, and if you look closely on the hyperposit, you can see it's almost like a palm tree type graphic, um, which was really, really cool. Um, so I was a big fan of that. Um, so you've got your dual layer sandwich mesh um, inner sleeve, which allowed, gives you great breathability. So I, my feet didn't get too hot in these, they weren't particularly breathable, um, but not super, super um, hot neither. Um, you have your lion lace lock in that nice pink colour. Uh, you've got the pink fly wire, you've got your black laces with the pink tips, um, or the aglet rather, as a lot of people didn't know what it was called, a lace tip. Um, so that's in pink with a black LJ crown logo. Uh, like I said on the inside it says LeBron one way and then James the other, which is really cool. Um, you've got his signature on the shank plate um, in pink, it's really really cool. You can also see into the sole uh, in two points in the shoe. Again, by cutting out some of the rubber, it means that you're cutting down some of the weight. Um, I found that the traction was pretty good on these. Um, another thing that was really important was the, the outrigger here. So you can see it right here. Um, it does say LeBron on it, so that's um, just a cool little bit of branding. What you've also got is, um, in terms of the technology that, you, that you're making use of, it's a really, really cool um, way that they've done it and how they can, again, cut down on weight. You're running on a full length lunar lawn um, insole, which doubles up as your sort of midsole, if you will, and then you've got full length zoom on the bottom. So, this is a full length zoom unit. The only negative to this is the flexibility is lost, as you can see, it's not particularly flexible, but it was low profile and it is responsive um, and it was very comfortable. Um, but the only thing is, you do lose a little bit of flexibility, um, which can is, is reflected with the LeBron 12 release, I will say. Um, because that's why they've went to the um, individual zoom, hex zoom pods and gives you a much better um, 
flex areas. Um, but no, all in all, very, very comfortable sneaker. It is very light as well for a LeBron shoe. Um, the other LeBrons that I have, the LeBron 9 big band and then the Entourage 8s. I didn't have any 10s, I wasn't a massive fan of the 10s. I just thought they were pretty cool, but wasn't a massive fan, preferred the 9 and the 8. Um, really, really cool, but um, I'm a fan of this shoe, how we don't have a traditional midsole. Um, and also the fact you can see the flywire through the hyperposite right here is very, very cool. Um, beyond that, before I get to the on feet part, I just remember I totally forgot to show out the box numbers. So I'll do that now. Um, so it's a US 13, UK 12. It's a LeBron 11. It's spoke turquoise, medium mint black. Uh, style code is 616175 and the colour code is 330. Uh, so this is the South Beach colourway of the LeBron 11. Very, very strong release in my opinion. Uh, it didn't sell particularly well over here in Europe nor in the US from my understanding. But a very, very strong release and possibly one of my favourite colourways um, to drop outside of the All Star colourway. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm going to stick these on feet and let you guys see how they look. There we go, so LeBron 11 South Beach on feet. Again, when I'm walking, I need to remember why I picked these up, they're so comfortable. Um, with that full length liner on, and then when you're running them, you can really feel the zoom, zoom unit giving you that response back, giving you the energy return. So, a very, very nice sneaker on feet. Obviously I did say that these aren't DS, so there is some little scratches on them and things like that, having worn them and taking them on vacation. Anyone who's familiar with my channel will know exactly what time it is right now. It's time that I grab my phone and jump into my shout out list. Um, so I do have a little bit of a new list because I lost it once I transferred onto my new phone, but anyway. First and foremost is Ike Bezel. The reason I do these videos, he was the one guy that told me just go ahead and do it. Uh, Jumpman Bostick, of course, uh, Hess Kicks as well, Nightwing 2303 and, and Kick Genius, these are the two kind of premier guys when it comes to performance reviews in my opinion. Uh, ZIX, that Sugar OK, Just For Kicks 212, The Real Ray Ray 20, um, Street Gear NYC, The Nice Kicks, Sneaker Watch TV, Scoop 208, Mr. Former Simpson, Yo Ante and also his Kicks channel, Yo Ante Kicks, T Blake, Always Fresh Apparel, Jacques Slade, Bullet RC, We Are The Trend, uh, DJ Ski on Ski TV, KicksonFire.com, uh, Suicidal One, KicksInTheCity.com, Swag On Haters Out, Sam Colt 12, TL Rick 72, Guns and Gloves, One Veracity, Optimus P517, Sticky213, Blue Cheese, Mike X Fly, Eddie Wynn and of course Jason Mark. Uh, so that concludes my shout out list for this video, um, if you do want to be added to the list then drop a comment and ask kindly and of course it can be done. Um, before we get out of here don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also Twitter, um, my name is going to appear right here, it's at NathanKerr20, uh, so give me a follow on both of them. Uh, use the hashtag SneakerFanWorldwide, NDD52 for myself and also the homie T Blake, um, again they're going to appear right here. So right there, I'm going to give you one final look at these. Um, this has been the LeBron 11 South Beach on Feet Sneaker Review. I've been Nate Doggy Dog 52 As always, thanks for tuning in and look forward to the next vid. Peace.